join kids hat family Whoa, that was odd, wasn't it, Tia? Yes, it reminds me of Henry, the ghost of the Warren family house. Oh, what is Henry's story? Once upon a time, There lived a beautiful family of the Warrens. Jim and Alice and their two children, Penny and Rick. They had just moved into the new house. Penny and Rick loved the new house. Look, Rick, I can see till the lake from my bedroom window. That's awesome, Penny. Come and see from my window. I can see our garden. I am glad you love your rooms, children. Maybe you can tie a swing for them on the large tree, Jim. The children were excited by the mom's suggestion. They quickly went to the garden. and helped their dad tie the swing for them Later they came back into the house had a lovely supper and everybody went to sleep It must have been a few hours into the night when Rick was awakened by a noise in the garden He looked out of the window. It was the swing and someone was on it. Who is there? Hearing the sound, whoever was on the swing quickly got off and ran away. Rick also went back into his bed and fell asleep. The next morning, the Warrens gathered for breakfast. I saw someone on the swing last night. I couldn't see clearly in the dark, but it was someone shot. What? That's not possible, honey. I'm sure it was the wind playing tricks with you. Oh, mother, it is possible. I did see someone last night. The day wore on and everybody forgot about the person on the swing. Rick and Penny were playing in their room. When Penny called, "Hey Rick, look, there's someone on the lake." but there was no one that Rick could see The next morning the children told their parents about what they saw on the lake and their parents dismissed their fears yet again A few days passed the children kept seeing odd shapes and their parents kept refusing them One day Penny found that her maths homework book was missing Soon Rick found that his favorite cricket bat was missing But mom dad You have to believe us. The grown-ups were about to disagree with Rick and Penny again 
when suddenly Mrs. Warren's two walk came flying at them. Everybody ducked. Looks like the children were right. There is a ghost in this house. Yes, there is. We must figure out what the ghost wants. And so everybody decided to talk to the ghost. They waited in Penny's room at night, hoping that the ghost will come to take more of her books. And right as they were, the ghost came and went to Penny's desk. Hello, Mr. Ghost. Oh, hello there. Everybody was shocked. The ghost was no more than a boy. How can we help you? Help me? Really? Yes, we would love to. That would be nice. I am stuck here like a ghost because I died before my last wish was not fulfilled. Really? Tell us please, how can we help? My name is Henry. I was a very good student and I loved math. In the last week of my life, I had written a maths exam. I knew I would top the class, but before the teacher could declare my results, I died. I want to make my mother proud of me. I wish the teacher would check my test paper and she still keeps in her desk and tells my mother the score. As Jim and Alice watched Henry's ghost go out of the window, they decided to help him out. The next morning they inquired about Henry's school and teacher. Once they had found her, they went to her and requested her to please check his paper. Just as Henry had said, he scored the highest in class. Next, we must find Henry's mother. Let us talk to the principal. And so the Warrens got Henry's mother's address from the principal. They set off towards this address. They found Henry's mom and explained their case to her. Is my Henry all right? Yes, ma'am. And he loves doing math. And he wanted you to have this. My son Henry, he stood fast in class again. I am so happy. Suddenly, Henry appeared in front of her mother. Mother, I am so happy to see you. I kept my promise, Mom. I came first in class. All I wanted was for you to know that I came first. I feel free to go now. Henry, my son, I will always be proud of you. Jim, Alice, Rick and Penny. I will never forget this. Thank you so, so much. As everyone watched, Henry turned into a bright light and vanished. The Warrens returned to their home, never to be disturbed by any ghosts again. Wow, dear! I never knew 
that there can be some good ghosts too. Well, Tofu, like there are good people and bad people in this world, there are good and bad ghosts too. You know, I have decided what I want to become for Halloween this week. Let me guess. Henry? Absolutely. How did you know, Tia? I just did. Now come on, let's go home before the cold wind comes back. For your favorite rhymes, stories and more, join Kids Heart family. Subscribe here.